What is cracking with you, you too? It's your man King Howie back with another vid. Ah, technically, I'm supposed to be uh, asleep, but I didn't get back to Cali until like two o'clock in the morning. And uh, shout out to uh, <clears throat> one of the subscribers, Skip Bayless. Um, he wants me to talk more liquor talk. So now that the Packers season is over, I guess that's what we will do. Since LeBron James groin, hernia, whatever injury he got, <laughs> Uh, whatever injury he got allegedly and uh, whatever move this is for him to get rest so he can um, conserve energy for the remainder of the season. The Lakers have been choppy. I think they lost three games in a row, won one, lost a game, won a game. And they recently just lost to uh, Utah. Donovan Mitchell went ham. Put up 33. After the Lakers had a pretty good night. Um, I forget who they beat. It was the game where Kuzma had like 41 points. Um, I forget who they played against. I forget who they played against. Whatever. Uh, I think it was the Mavericks. Yeah, it was the Dallas Mavericks. Um, since the LeBron James injury, Lakers have been a little choppy. Couple losses here, a couple wins here. And uh, what I think is going on I think this is a evaluation process you know there has been um, rumors of LeBron James one Mark Jackson to be the head coach of the Lakers and what I think is going on I think Luke I mean I'm sorry I think Luke yeah I think Luke is being evaluated by LeBron James Rob Palenka and Magic Johnson um, who knows if LeBron faked this injury just so he could really convince Magic to move on from Luke. Um, to be truthfully honest with you, what I've, I, I haven't seen a reason to keep Luke as the head coach. He's done nothing spectacular as a coach for this team this year at all. Majority of the time, you see Rondo and LeBron coaching these guys up, telling them where they need to be. I think Luke Walton is just posing as a head coach, but really he's just the rotation man, <laughs> making sure everybody that needs to get that needs to get their minutes get their minutes. You know, and then there's the whole, you know, Lonzo Ball missing free throws and he's sitting him the whole fourth quarter. <laughs> Look at the clown shit that the Lakers have going on. They can't hit no free throws. They suck at shooting three pointers. They get they turn over the ball. They have Lance make them dance. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Oh, Lance is doing the guitar. Who gives a fuck about that, man? Who gives a fuck about Lance make them dance? Oh, he's pulling out the guitar. That's the dance now. Everybody got to do the guitar in the stands. It's like, how about winning? How about winning games? How about hitting your free throws? All this bullshit going on with this team. They need to sign Anthony Davis. They need Anthony Davis. They need to trade this guy. They need to trade that guy. Huh. 
How about coach better? How about that? All this silly shit. The Lakers have dropped from the fourth seed all the way down to the eighth seed, barely hanging on at 23 wins and 20 losses. <sighs> and it's just like the little stuff, the simple shit. JaVel McGee frustrated why the defensive scheme didn't change to slow down Donovan Mitchell. <sighs> like I said time and time again, this team is fucking young, man. This team is young. LeBron James with all of this, I know what I came here for. I know why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> then the whole, what did he say? Uh, his patience was wearing thin. He was getting frustrated earlier in the season. I understand why, bruh. I understand why. LeBron, you not. <laughs> LeBron, you not saying nothing that we, we already we already don't know, man. We know this team is young. We know this team is inexperienced. This is Magic Johnson's what second year operating the team. And really The person that's probably going through it the most is Magic Johnson. You know, trying to bring a winning lifestyle back to this uh, organization and put this team back where it should be, which is one of the best teams in the NBA. And now we're getting a back nine of LeBron James career and unfortunately he starts to get injured <laughs> I think instead of making a trade I think the Lakers just need to get rid of Luke Walton he hasn't shown in crucial moments that he can coach situational basketball when it's needed to be coached. He he won't he won't he doesn't have that kind of Greg Popovich type of um coaching style when it comes to situational stuff. You know, you're down by five. It's a minute and 14 seconds left on the clock. You got to put the right lineup in there that's going, that's going to uh, make something happen so you could pull away with the lead and win the game. You know, <laughs> Luke Walton have Lance make him dance in the game with Michael Beasley, Zubak, LeBron James. <laughs> And a Kyle Kuzma who shot two for eight from the perimeter. <laughs> He'll throw all of them in a the game in crunch time and have the important pieces sitting on the bench. We can't we 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 not gonna survive with Luke Walton as the head coach. Yeah, we'll probably get to the playoffs. Um now I I'll say this. Well, well, what about when he was coaching for the Warriors? When he won those 39 games? He had the talent that superseded 
his coaching abilities. When you got Steph Curry, Clay, KD, Draymond Green, man, they not listening to Luke Walton. All he got to do is manage their minutes. Okay, KD, come sit down. Go in there for him. Igladawa, Lance Stevenson, <laughs> proven veterans. It's only a couple proven veterans on this Laker team. JaVel McGee, LeBron James, and Rondo. Lance, he's had some good moments. But I wouldn't say he's a proven veteran. That's what he's trying to solidify by being with the Lakers. I think LeBron James is supposed to be out a few more games. Um, and when he gets back, he might be on minutes restriction. You know, this is the same injury that Steph Curry had. And Curry set out 11 games. You know, Steph Curry is light in the ass. You know, so him sitting out 11 games might be more beneficial to him than it might be LeBron James. I, I think when LeBron gets back, I think Luke is going to monitor his minutes. He might play 25, 27 minutes. I don't think he's going to do a whole 30. Um, but everybody's expecting LeBron to come back with a vengeance. Um, right now, I think this is just the evaluation process before the All-Star break comes. I think LeBron James is going to play until the All-Star break. And then, you know, really kind of um, recuperate <clears throat> for however long that is. During the All-Star week, he ain't going to participate in any of the festivities except the All-Star game. So he might not even play that many minutes in the All-Star game. Um, so that we got to worry about that. And then we still have to <laughs> worry about the potential of this team, how fast, where there be, will there be any changes in the second part of the season? Will these guys progress? Will they have learned anything from the first part of the season? I don't get it. These guys make millions of dollars on the Lakers and can't hit a free throw. Some shit that's free. And they can't hit that. Ah, oh, them two shots that Lonzo Ball shot just... You know what that told me? Just by looking at his body language, that he didn't give a fuck. And you know where that stems from? The coaching. Because the coaching don't give a fuck. That's why he just tossed the ball at the rim like that. Oh, LeBron James missing him. Brandon Ingram missing him. Kuzma missing him. Whatever. He just tossed him up there like, I don't give a fuck. And Luke says, sit down. <laughs> Uh, they're not playing with any passion. Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram, they're not playing with any passion. Uh, could it be be is it, it could it be you? Could you be the reason, Luke Walton, that they have no fucking passion? Maybe you're the reason. Maybe you're the reason why he went up there and just shot the ball like that. Like, man, I don't give a fuck, man. Luke ain't gonna say shit. Mm. Sitting at the brink of AC with other teams getting better. <sighs> the West is a tough jungle to get through. And you would think the Lakers would be the team to get through it with all this high talk and praise from all of these from sports media and, oh, I like Kuzma. I loves me some Kuzma. Lonzo Ball has a lot of potential. And then those games, oh, the Lakers need to get rid of Lonzo Ball. Lonzo put up a nice game. Lonzo got a lot of potential. I see it, but we need to hold on to Kuzma. Get rid of Brandon Ingram. <laughs> 5'11". 
fire Luke Walton. Fire Luke Walton. I don't think the I don't think the Lakers have it. The Lakers look like they're uh, uh, they look like they ready to go to the Western Conference Finals after beating a a shitty team like the Chicago Bulls by 20 points or something. <laughs> that shit don't prove nothing, man. If you ain't competing with the top You shouldn't even be mentioned mentioned next to the top. And I don't see the Lake Lakers competing with the top. But I do have faith in LeBron James. I have faith in the Lakers that they could find some kind of way to get some playoff ticket money from me, man. That's all I want. That is all I want. I just want these motherfuckers to make the playoffs. Just make the playoffs. Cut all of the goddamn shenanigans out with all this bullshit media escapade that y'all keep fucking throwing in our face day in and day out about the goddamn Lakers. LeBron James sat down with AD. They, they sat down and ate and talked. LeBron James is tampering. He's tampering. Uh, and then it just seems like all these other owners in the league just have it out for us. Anything LeBron James. The league is just letting LeBron James do whatever he wants. Adam Silver, we need you to stand up to, to this or else. <sighs> the drama don't stop, man. The drama just don't stop with LeBron James. <sighs> All I want, all I want, all I want these motherfuckers to do, the only mindset I want them to have, day in and day out, wearing that fucking jersey, with the name across the chest and a logo. All I want y'all to fucking focus on is winning. Why we gotta focus on this other shit? Lonzo, baby mama, she said he a deadbeat dad. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sports back in the day, it was all about team. Now, it's all about brand. Brand, 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 brand. Market, 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 market. But hopefully all of this could somehow turn into a championship, at least one. At least one with LeBron James. At least one. Just so he could have that. Uh, He's won NBA championships with all three teams he's played for. He's going down as the GOAT. And then everybody debate that. Jordan never did that. Jordan couldn't do it with the Wizards. <laughs> Sports is just the funniest shit in the world to me. Oh, man. A lot of clown shit. But I don't want to hold up too much of y'all time with my rambling about the goddamn Lakers. This is your man, King Howie. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Shout out to you, Skip Bayless, man. This is a video strictly for you, man. Um, and I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all on board with you, man. We need to fire Luke Walton. <laughs>